Welcome to week two of your Awaken 40 Day Journey. This week invites you to create a vision for what's possible. So today's practice will um, focus on seeing clearly, identifying what's here for you now, and moving from that place toward possibility. So take a moment to gather your things, change into some comfortable clothes, and we'll meet in child's pose. Once you land in child's pose, give yourself three deep breaths. As you settle here, allow the weight of your body to drop deeper. Especially focus your attention to the center of your forehead. It's in this space, the third eye center, where your intuition rests. And it's through this place you are able to create, create a clear vision for yourself. So feel the weight of your skull drop down onto this point. And then begin to rock your head slowly from temple to temple. Awakening the third eye center. Smoothing out your expression and inviting opening into your practice. Settle your forehead in stillness. Commit to yourself today to move with an open mind and an open heart. And notice if with this intention you are able to more clearly see or hear what comes from inside. And on your next inhalation, stretch up into cow pose. Then round your spine into cat. Cow and cat. Do three more. And then as you're ready, shift your movement side to side, curling your same side hip and shoulder, and then moving through center to the other side for another seat curl. Right and left. Notice where your breath might be restricted Clear up some space, allow it to move freely. Keep this movement or combine it with the cat and cow. Take three more breaths. Tabletop. Reach the right arm up, circle at your wrist. And then thread the needle. Let the right side of your face and shoulder rest. Let your right palm open up towards the sky. 
and then tense up onto your left hand and then really press through the finger pads to point your left elbow upward and stretch deep into the shoulders. And just one more big breath here. And then come up to tabletop and to the other side. Left arm up, circle up your wrist. Watch your hand as it moves. And then follow your hand as you thread the needle. Rest on your left side. Option to tent up onto your right fingertips this time and press. Then rise back up to tabletop. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Fan out your fingers, lift and lengthen your toes. Then bend your knees generously, press your chest towards your thighs. Step the left foot in towards the center of your mat. And ground down through that foot and reach the right foot up. Three-legged dog. Bend your upper knee. Trace large circles in your hip. And then stack your right hip on top of your left and reach your right foot over. Lower that foot down. Center it on the mat, and then reach the left foot up, three-legged dog. A couple of breaths here to circle out your hip. And then when you're ready, stack your hips open and reach over to the right side. Lower your left foot. Place your right foot between your hands, come into a low lunge with the back knee down. Rise up to your fingertips. Make any adjustments to your foundation, the points that are touching the ground. And then by pressing down through those points of contact, lift out of your back knee in particular, keep it light. You can always place a folded blanket under your left, your back knee, or you can fold in the outer edge of your mat to create more cushion. Now we're going to rise up onto the right thigh. Create space in your lower back by lengthening your tailbone down. And reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling and then lift the arms overhead. Anjane Asana, Crescent. Follow the next breath in to a tiny back bend. And then lower the hands down on either side of your right foot. Shift your hips back into half split. And then adjusting your hands here again, your foundation to keep you open and supported. So if you notice you're rounding out through your chest and shoulders, you can use a block to lift up onto, broaden the collarbones, and push your heart forward in space. Breathe in. As you exhale, bend your knee and lunge forward. Inhale again and straighten the leg. Bend and exhale. Do that three more times on your own. Then change sides. Bring the left foot forward, 
you want to take a vinyasa or pause and down dog for a couple of breaths, do that. And then come into your rule lunge with the left foot in front. Make the foundation your own and make it feel stable. So I'm like shimmying, shimmying my left foot forward so it, my ankle's aligned with my knee. And then when you're ready, come up onto your thigh. Create a little buoyancy in your hips. Lift out of the bottom right leg. And then sweep up, arms up overhead. On the next inhalation, take it into a tiny back bend. And then lower the hands back to the mat. Half split. Stay open. Keep an open heart, an open mind, a full breath. Inhale. Exhale and lunge. Flow forward and back between these two poses four more times. We'll meet in a low lunge with the left foot forward. And then straighten out both legs. Pivot your feet and walk your hands over to the right side of your space. Let your feet turn with you. And point the big toes in slightly, just a little bit. Come into a side facing wide leg forward fold. So you can take this inversion, which is really healthy. Um, a really great pose for restoring balance in your body, activating the parasympathetic nervous system, and allowing just the blood to flow into your head. Letting gravity do the support for you here. If for whatever reason, if you feel dizzy going upside down today, or if there's some other thing coming up where this pose isn't working for you, you can totally take this into a seated wide leg straddle like this. So here are your options. Pick your shape and then give yourself another five breaths or so here. In this inversion, I'm using a block right now to support the crown of my head and also as something to kind of um, lean into. So I shift the weight of my body forward into my feet and the sitting bones can reach up towards the sky. So you might want to try that on. We'll take two more rounds of breath. Slowly rise up halfway. Make your back flat and extend the top of your head forward as you reach your tailbone back in space. Feel the length of your spine here. Maintain that as you walk your hands over to the front edge and turn your feet once again into a lunge and then heel toe your left foot out to the side for the lizard. So both hands stay down on the inside and your pelvis is able to sink deeper towards the ground. You can take a little rock forward and back, stretching out the muscle and the fascia on the sole of your right foot. And you can also, if it feels okay on your knee, you can come onto the pinky edge of your left foot and gently guide your thigh open for a deeper groin stretch. If you press your chest over to the right as well, you get a little spinal twist. And take the next three breaths to just kind of explore the possibilities here in this shape for you today. I 
after your third breath, bring your left foot back in towards the center of the mat. And then keeping the right hand down, reach the left arm up for a little lunge twist. If you find it difficult to maintain a full breath in this twist, know that that's totally normal while your inner organs are being squeezed. Find a way to access a deep breath anyway. One more, just like that. And then bring your top hand down. And step your left foot back, plank pose. Lower the knees. And then slowly lower the chest and shoulders, forehead down. Keep your hands right under your shoulders, untuck your toes. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat. Center your forehead. Again, press in and check in here with your third eye center. Following the next breath in, curl your spine upward into a baby cobra. Lower down. Come up three more times into baby cobra, moving with your breath. Inhale to rise, exhale to lower. Downward facing dog. Notice what's available now. This time you come into down dog, what's shifted. Lengthen your tailbone up and back in space. Press into your palms firmly. Step the right foot forward. Lizard lunge. And then take the next five breaths or so, five to eight breaths. Developing this pose being curious about where you can take it here on the right side of your body. Bring your right foot in a little bit more towards the middle of your mat. Ground into the left palm. And sweep the right arm up in a lunge twist. And bring depth to your breath, find your way. Plank pose. And drop the knees down. And with control and strength, lower your chest and shoulders down. Ground your third eye center. Rise up to cobra pose. Lower. Three more times. dog. Hmm. Again, check in. Notice what's different. You might see a change in the distance between your heels and the ground. You might feel a difference in the backs of your legs and how much you can straighten both out. 
Maybe you feel something between your chest and shoulders. Just notice two more breaths. Then tiptoe your feet to your hands. Come into a forward fold. Then slowly roll up through your spine to stand in mountain. Close your eyes even, rest your hands on your body. Feel your feet on the ground. Soften the bend in your knees. And feel your hands in your body. Even with your eyes closed, what do you see? Now open your eyes and land your gaze onto one focal point. Commit your gaze and your attention to that one spot and then soften, avoid like, the temptation to stare or burn a hole into that um, place that you're looking and instead invite a little bit of ease, compassion, and then shift the weight of your body into your left leg and bring your right knee up to your chest. You can place your hands on your hips or you can hold on to your right knee with your hands. Option to loop your big toes as well. And so wherever you are with your knee lifted, make sure your spine and the alignment from the crown of your head all the way down to your bottom heel is one vertical line. And as you're ready, open your right knee out to the side. Guide it with your hand. And extend the left arm and move your gaze across the panorama over to your left fingertips. Find a new point to look at. See what you see. And bring everything back to center. Reach your arms overhead, standing stag. And then come into warrior three. Extend your right leg behind you. You can bring your hands to prayer, Anjali Mudra. Or reach your arms down by your sides your airplane arms. Option to reach forward. A little challenge, adding more weight to the front side of your body. Good, lower the lifted leg. Stand up, shake out the left foot and left leg if you need to. Take a moment to reset. Soften the tops of your shoulders, feel your feet on the ground. And then choose one spot to direct your attention. You can pick the same one as before or find something new to look at. And then make a commitment to keep your attention there as you balance on your right leg and bring the left knee up. Organize your bones so that you are in alignment. And then take your knee out to the left and your gaze over to the right. Bring everything back into center. Navigate the wobbles, not navigate the falling out and coming back in. Maybe find some lightness in it and then reach up, come back in, begin again. Stay in stack pose. Warrior three.
notice how your perspective has shifted. Even as the view changes, your focus, your attention is still one pointed. It's clear. Bring the left foot down, stand in mountain, step to the top of your mat. Sweep the arms overhead, extend in mountain. Clasp your hands above your head and lean over to the right, standing crescent. Rise up through center, lean left. Center, right. Center, left. Extended mountain, forward fold. Halfway lift, high plank. Breathe in, downward facing dog. Look between your hands and step right through. Come onto a seat. Create tree here and a new relationship to gravity. Right foot in. Sitting bones grounded, and then grow your spine up and tall. And take your right hand to the outside of your left leg and your left hand behind you for a gentle twist. And slowly unwind and come into a fold. Change your feet, seated tree, with the left foot in. Take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and reach your right arm behind you, twist. And fold in. Feel the soles of your feet press against each other. Relax the muscles in your hips and glutes. Allow the earth to hold you now. You're welcome to stay here or you can lengthen your arms and legs for Shavasana. Notice the rise and fall of your breath. Flutter your eyes open. Take any gentle movements you need. Make your way on to one side. When you're ready, you press yourself up to a comfortable seat. And loop your shoulders up, back, and down. Sit up tall. Bring your palms together. With a gesture of acknowledgement, acknowledge yourself for the time you made for your practice today. Lower your forehead down to your fingertips. Until you